Previously on God's Eye. The funniest pose I possibly could think of. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and if they found me, it's more just like. <laughs> mm. Mm. I like the way you look. I like the way you look, boy. Hey. <laughs> Tell them. Eric gave me a big smile Ooh. and shook his head like a man in a weighted. And now, God's eye. What's good everybody? It's your boy, God's Eye, back at it. Now we're doing another Let's Watch Something Scary. But, like, last time we did one, it was quite weak. So I'm like, listen, I gotta bring the fire for this next one. Like, it was just, that was more funny than scary. I was like, well, okay. Alright. Let's get into this one, this video. Let's dive right in. What's a nice house? It's a oh yeah, two 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 garage uh Jack. Yeah, it's a two garage house. Fancy. I like. Okay, yeah. Why not? Let's touch it with our bare hands. You know, the fire's not hot. <laughs> okay, I'm still quite confused on what's supposed to be going on here. Okay, well, you know, heating up the house, I guess. <laughs> Someone knocking at the door or something? What is that? What is that sound? Whoa! Oh! Okay, someone's at that window. Oh! Okay, I would have locked the door first, then put the chain up. Realistically, he could have burst right in right away. But you tell me you leave your front door open? <laughs> Like, you just came home from being out, and you, you leave your front door open the whole entire time. Oh, stop. I really hope someone's there. Like, you kind of deserve that. Why would you open the door? You have windows. Oh, my gosh. Bro, I would have boarded up that door. Go to my other, like, entrances in the house. And make sure all those things are locked up. Because the fact you left the front door open, like, come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's in. He's already there. He's in the house. Of course you left your garage. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'm sorry, sometimes you, people just deserve it. Like, you do something like that? Hey. A 
Okay, yeah, wait, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Are you telling me when you go in your room, you don't, you don't, you know, lock that door? You're just gonna leave the door open. You hear something creeping and you're gonna leave the door open still. Yep. You're done. Bro, really? Come on. <laughs> yep, we're gonna get hit with a jump scare. Was she the one that picked it up, or? Oh, hello. Oh, come on. And you go back underneath the... You're not gonna... Uh... Kick him! Alright, I guess that's it. <laughs> Is that even it? That was it? Right. I'm so mind boggled by that last one we just watched. Like, <laughs> it was just honestly just. It was a little bit pathetic. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, you're just gonna sit there. Uh, I can't even dwell on it. Alright, let's watch this next one. We're doing uh, Dark Web Horror Stories. Let's check it out. Allow me to explain. I was a senior in high school at the time, and I was definitely not a popular kid. My friends and I were the oddities of the school, the few people who dared to defy the norm. It was them who told me about the deep web. Yo, these guys look bored as hell. <laughs> unwatched, anonymous. Capable of doing whatever you wanted. Of course, I was intrigued. Most you know, I did. I heard a lot of stories drugs, about the deep web. But I thought, oh, my friends, here, do not go on there. To know what <laughs> in the darkest parts do not go on there. It's not Whether worth or it. Not my friends were telling the truth when they talked about horrible fetish sites and assassins you can hire to kill anyone you'd like. Of course, I wasn't planning on mm. using any of it. It was the mystery of it all that fascinated me. Going onto these sites would be like peering into a world only a few have ever seen. Like an entirely new experience. Okay. At the time, I was tired of the monotony of life. I would get up at the same time every day, go to school, attend the So because you're bored of life, you're going to go on the deep web? Go home, I mean, that, that, games, that's something new I've heard. Okay, sure. And then, repeat. I wondered if other people got tired of that. Anyway, nah. it took me a while to actually... A lot of people have. Me, me included. As fascinated as Tired of all this nine to five work and just. Who isn't afraid of being threatened by hackers or stalked by some creepy pissed off online? That kind of shit kept me from actually going on the deep web. Until the day I manned up and decided that it was time. It was time to delve into the underbelly of the internet. Sure. Time to see a world that I'd only ever dreamed of. So I'd rather you do that than me do that. Mess up my stuff. <laughs> I'll, I'll gladly watch you. And stuff where people expose the government secrets, or whatever. Nothing as dark as I expected. I wasn't really into politics. I don't even do drugs. So that was useless to me. I love how he's moving the mouse on the exact monitor. So I was disappointed. The only reason I kept exploring was my sheer desire to experience the world I thought existed on the deep web. That world was darker than any drug site. That world had murder, torture, and all sorts of... <laughs> this guy's face. I got my wish. Yes. <laughs> we seen death tonight. I a broken link for a bit, since it only led me to a black screen. Right before I could click out, however, a chat box opened up on the screen. Someone using the name Admin typed in the chat box saying... Congratulations. You found the worst place on the fucking net. Smooth. I at the screen, <laughs> more bemused than afraid. It took me a moment to type back. 
cool. That's all I said. What did you just type out in the air? Say, hey, I'm here to see your finest torture porn. A moment after, the admin replied, Ha ha. E1N. I hesitated. All those horror stories were flooding back to my head. Oh, now you hesitate. You, you're already... I was going to say, you're already knee-high deep in here. Even if I just clicked out at the first sign of danger, I had to see what was there. I had to know. Not allowing myself to stop, I hesitantly typed back. Yeah. The chat box closed, and I was led directly to what looked like a video, with another chat box next to it. There were around five other people there, each eagerly waiting for... something. The video was in black and white, and showed a small room. The only thing inside was a wooden chair. After around five minutes of waiting, the door to the room opened, and a man was shoved inside. He was blindfolded, and Ooh. only had on a pair of black briefs. He was followed by a woman. She was dressed in all black, and her face was covered by a mask. In an instant, the chat room went wild. I almost closed the window to spare myself, knowing immediately where this was going. But yep. again, I know where this is going. This was what I wanted. Maybe not the torture, <sighs> but the window into the very worst parts of the world. The woman pulled a knife from her pocket and cut off the man's blindfold as she shoved him into the chair. He didn't struggle, and once his eyes were visible, I could see why. It looked as if he had been drugged. Resisting was impossible. I frowned, glancing to the side. This was fucked up. I knew this no was shit. <laughs> conscience told me to call the cops, or at least click off. But I forced myself to watch. She turned to the camera, pointing the knife at the man's throat. One of the people in the chat typed, One of the fingers. Cut off one of his fingers. I clenched my hands into fists. Taking in a sharp breath, was this really fucking happening? Was I going to watch this guy get mutilated as a small crowd of people watched in glee? I felt like throwing up, a feeling that only worsened when the woman nodded and then turned to the man, grabbing his limp hand and carefully slicing off one of his fingers. Ooh. Blood spurted from the wound and the man moaned in pain, but he couldn't fight back. Breathing heavily, I hovered my cursor over the X, planning on getting the fuck out of there. But I didn't. The woman looked unsatisfied, as if she thought the people in the chat could do better. Another person called for her to slice up the man's arm, and she complied. He was bleeding heavily now, clearly in deep pain. <laughs> but these people... These chops these are people, quick and clean. <laughs> sick. They were cheering her on from the chat suggesting new and painful tortures for her to inflict. Eventually, I stopped breathing heavily. I stopped feeling sick. Actually, it was starting to grow on me. Ooh. By the end, the man was on the ground, covered in blood. I watched this for around half a minute. The people in the chat were starting to die down. They inflicted enough pain. They had their fun funny I thought how it was all over just when I was getting into it I smirked how exciting this was better than any game I could play much better than any fucking class I could attend better than sitting with a group of fucking nobodies pretending like I cared for a goddamn second about them this was the world I wanted to see oh, this guy this was dark just wait until you get hacked and that's you sitting there this was reality fucking end him i typed in the chat for the first time she nodded for the last time bringing the man to his feet before slowly dragging her blade across his throat sending more of his blood spurting out once it was done she dropped him and he fell to the ground a lifeless husk the people in the chat started complimenting the torturer talking about how it had been another good time starting to set the date for the next showing on screen the woman left the room leaving the corpse behind of course I quickly wrote down the date for the next showing this was going to be a part of my life now 
I was going to be a part of something bigger. I was going to command the death of these people. What a rush. So yeah, I still love the deep web. I'm in college now, and now I'm even more immersed in the deep web. I've seen shit some people would freak out just knowing exists. I finally broke the monotony of life. Isn't it inspirational? How one high schooler defies the inherent boredom of his life by discovering his true passion? I love the deep web. That wasn't even scary, that was just stupid. <laughs> that was honestly stupid. <laughs> Honest, the animation could have been done a, uh, a lot better, I could find, but the story behind it, uh, I don't know. Hopefully this one will do the trick. We got two more, I got two more videos for you guys for uh, today. Uh, this one. The Howling Man. Let's check it out. Let's hope this is actually, you know, knocks our socks off. <laughs> I can't even read. The Moonlight Man. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't even believe it. Oh. Ho oh. ho. Oh, we diving right into this. Okay, okay. Speed it up, girl. I would have ran right into my car. Really? Oh, you're gonna hesitate? I'm so mind boggled. Yo, your keys were just right at your foot. It was honestly right at your foot. You tell me it just magically disappeared. <gasps> you dropping everything, girl. Oh, <laughs> we're getting a jump scare. Girl, why is your car door unlocking all the time? You, you got some car problems there. I'm sorry, my friend. You got some car problems. <laughs> nice. At least you got a nice weapon out. Honestly, I wouldn't stay around. I, I would have left. Yo, wait, tell me, you, you tell me your keys were just right there? So everything... In the, oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh man. Yep, that's jump scares for you. <laughs> that's some jump scares for you. <laughs> but that was the dumbest thing ever. Your keys, somehow you dropped it straight down. And somehow, you know, it did a boogie left that went right behind the car. <laughs> sure. Okay, cool. Alright, let's get to the next one. Next video, is we're, we're doing our favorite person, Llama Arts. Let's go. You know we're going to get uh, a nice good video from Llama Arts. Let's go.
It was approaching the end of summer, and my friends and I wanted to do some cool mischievous things before going back to school. So, we had the genius idea one night to sneak into a nearby community pool. Okay. It was actually only a couple blocks away. It's right smack in the middle of a residential area. So instead of sitting on the main road or something, it actually just sat around a bunch of houses on a quiet road. During the hot day, the little parking lot would be full and the spot would be bustling. But at one in the morning, the place was of course dead. There's obviously a big fence surrounding the whole front entrance, as well as a cage that gets closed up when the place closes. So our best way was to get in through the side. We snuck into the backyard of the neighboring house and hopped the fence over to the pool. It was as easy as that. The four of us took off our shirts and jumped into the pool, which in retrospect wasn't smart, since any of the neighbors could have heard the splashes and just called the police. But we were dumb high schoolers. Late night swim, nothing wrong with that. Within that hole and closing. This pool had no lights, which is why it closed at sunset. James, Courtney, and Alyssa were on the other side of the pool as I was just kind of doing my own thing at first, swimming around and getting my face wet. I saw Alyssa get out of the pool shortly after and run away. I swam over to see what was going on. She was just going to the water fountain, though. The three of us just bopped around in the water for a bit. Okay. And eventually, we heard Alyssa jump back into the pool from the other side. It was too dark to see much more than her black hair covering her face. But just then, we heard Alyssa playfully call something to us as she was walking back to the pool. The three of us in the pool looked at each other. I know they were doing the same thing as me, <laughs> counting heads. There were three of us on this side of the pool, and here came Alyssa walking over to our side. Get out! The other side. Run! Alyssa got in, but the three of us were distracted, looking at the head bopping around the water across the pool. James said across the move. Pool, Who is that? Not even two seconds later, the head went underwater and disappeared from view. We took this time to whisper to each other, mostly things like, what should we do? Get out the water? And should we run? Yes. Suddenly I felt something grab my leg with force and tried pulling me down into the water. I kicked, splashed, and yelled for help. James came over to pull me out of the pool, while the girls were already running for it, screaming. It wasn't until I got to the stairs of the pool that the grip on my leg was released and I was free. We hopped the same fence we climbed over to get in and nice. went all the way back nice. to Melissa's house. I was convinced that whoever that was was a security guard. That is, until they literally tried to pull me under the water. You don't know what to think. There are a few possibilities. Maybe it was just another kid messing with us. Maybe it was a security guard who went way too far. Mm. Or, most likely, it was a dangerous person who had ill intent. Look at that face! Like, <laughs> Okay, you know, like, mm, yeah, they got some ill intent, all right. One more thing. All right, guys. So now for our last video of the night, we got "Don't Look Away." Now I'm hoping this is gonna be a nice, good jump. Uh, not, not really a huge, nice jump scare, but something's gonna, you know, knock my socks off. So far, we started off a bit rough, but you know, it's been getting better and better. Move, we're moving on. So, let's check this out. Let's check it out. Savannah, just do your makeup and do what Dad told you to do. I'm not mowing the lawn, Jim. But Mom's visiting and Dad wants the house to fix his fan. Yeah, well, I already vacuumed both our rooms, so how about you get some shit done? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's... I don't like moms. I always slamming doors in men's faces. Go away! Alright, well, whatever. Dad's gonna be home soon. It's gonna rain in a few minutes, so. I'm liking it so far. Good story um, being told. You know, settings are really pretty good. Oh, hello.
Who are you, sir? You're not gonna mention. There we go. Okay, okay. So don't look or keep look you know, can yell to your brother? Hey bro? Jim, listen to me very carefully. Yeah. Jim, lock all the doors in the house now. Why wow, I really don't want them out. Jim, just shut up and lock all the doors in the house. Why? What are you doing? No 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 you idiot. Oh, what the hell is that? about it and that's what he said don't look away he didn't explain why okay wait okay, so what's going on i don't know okay just stay here i'm gonna go lock all the doors shoot screw wait, that I'm supposed to stay here and look at it i think if one of us is looking at it it's fine just stay here why can't i lock because i don't trust you you have all that open Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Is it still there? Yep. And nothing's changed? I'm still staring at it, aren't I? Yeah, it's still there. You stupid asshole! I told you not to look away! I didn't look away. Yes, you did! Otherwise, it would still be there! It is still there! Why do you have to lie to me all the time? Savannah, I'm not lying to you. It is still there for me. Ho 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 ho! You looked away. You looked away. Is the move closer? You're gonna touch it. You're gonna touch him. Uh huh. Okay. Something's gonna happen to you. Bro, something's gonna happen to you. Why would you touch him? Don't touch him! I love the fact that brother's still just chilling there, man. He's still looking at the window. Yes. Okay, don't look away from the person.
Okay. <laughs> okay. You just had to look at himself? started when I first met your mother. It followed us, even after you two were born. I tried to ignore it, but now it's going after you. Oh, shit, shit, shit! What? What? It's not there? What's not no. there? No. The, the one that I was looking at. I had to look away when it attacked her. You, I had to. You told me there was only one. Yes, when Jim went to go look at it too, I told him not to look away while I went to go lock all the doors, and he never looked away. You're and smart. It up in here? Yes! When you look away, it gets closer. Because Jim was watching him, when you left, it made another. So there's another one? Where? The mother's here. Uh-uh! Yo, they live in a nice house. Well, time to go. <laughs> I would've packed up and left. Okay. You're just gonna end it like that? Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm confused with this whole thing. Okay. You know what? We're gonna end this video here. I am confused. <laughs> sure, whatever. Alright, I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>